Yeah, you're good Careful, hey, there's staples in there. You don't want to cut yourself. <laughs> I cut my, yeah, so I cut my finger down. Watching! Copy that. So today, the future is now, and we're going to see cargo transport via UAS, a drone, go up from the New Jersey side of the Port Authority over the Hudson River, obviously one of the most traveled both marine and airspaces in the world, and drop down onto the 65th Street rail yard over in Brooklyn. And we will be transporting very precious cargo today in the form of Girl Scout cookies. <laughs> And so we'll bring it over there, drop it in Brooklyn, and then we'll bring back another box of cookies over here. And really what we're doing today is proving that this can be done safely. So with these drone operations, it carries significant benefit to the Port Authority and the general public. It's faster, it's safer, and it's cleaner. So fully autonomous flight, Right? We have a, a full team of pilots here on hand. However, what will happen is they will hit the launch button and waypoints are set across the Hudson and the aircraft itself will go in five waypoints, utilizing five waypoints, go across the river and drop down into Brooklyn and then we'll come back and return to home. Yep. So actually during COVID, um, there were hospitals in New York City who were transporting medical goods um, just to test it out, just to kind of get it to hospitals a little quicker. That is an application of this technology and that's kind of in the direction that we're leaning towards. Technology moves very fast. Um, you'll see your car has features today that it didn't have just five years ago. But we see the drone cargo space, especially for middle mile, which is to allow shippers to move uh, goods from a fixed point to a fixed point, not necessarily drones landing on everyone's home, that kind of thing. But we think middle mile has strong opportunities over the next five years. Precious cargo has landed. Cheers. <laughs> mm.